So Eric of the Advanced Anomaly Study Group had asked me to do a video on how this system is set up. Basically, there's two components. This is a thermal um, infrared camera or scope, and it uses germanium glass because a normal glass won't let thermal or heat go through, so it has to have germanium glass. And this is the actual camera scope itself, viewfinder with diopter adjustment. And this is just a digital camera I use for video. This is just a hood to cover the screen so I can look in here and see the images uh, during bright daylight. I'll just turn it on here for a second. Uh, and if you look in there, you can see, so you know, it doesn't show very good, but there's way over there. And that's way over there. This is 83 times zoom with Nikon P900. Whatever the night scope is viewing, uh, and that's set up for black is hot. I'll just show you inside. See, black is hot. And whatever it's seeing in the middle, this camera will see in the middle on full zoom. And to do that, I just simply attach the two to this plate. And I had to kind of use a piece of paper as a shim. It's the thickness of one piece of paper. And then there's more to it. Uh, in order to uh, record, have to attach this uh, cable here it goes right in there okay and then it goes to the remote control this looks exactly the same as what it looks like on top of the camera except this is a remote and so attached it there and just so that it can um, not flop around I use a rubber band and just attach it to the handle there okay now this piece here is just strain relief. So I just attach that and that takes the strain off this. So if you're pulling on this, it's not putting strain on that connection. So it goes into this remote control and then there's a cable here that takes the video. Okay, there's the other end of it. And it's gonna go into this little recorder. This is a tiny digital recorder video recorder it takes an SD card okay so I've just attached it with the rubber band onto the handle and all I have to do is put the output of this remote control uh, plug that cable in and plug the cable into the input here of this little digital recorder okay so then I simply turn this on it's already on turn my camera on and I start looking around, okay? Using the handle to look around. And when I see something, I simply, I already have turned this on, okay? And I simply push this button here to record and that's it. And I also record with my uh, digital video camera here. And that's it, that's all that's involved. Um, these thermal cameras, this particular one's from the uh, General Starlight Company in Canada, near Toronto, Richmond Hill. But for the U.S., you have to buy inside the U.S. You can't really export these across borders. Uh, they really control this kind of stuff. Right. So check out what the rules are for importing them into the States. So stuff. far today, anything that I've spotted with the thermal camera, I've also seen with the digital camera or with my eyes. I haven't spotted any anomalies yet. But when we were in the U.K. last week, uh, we had two sightings where we were looking up in the sky uh, couldn't see anything, but I happened to spot it with the thermal camera and it wasn't visible with the naked eye, binoculars, or digital camera on zoom. So we spotted two of those. I got one that I recorded and I'll put a link below. But so far here, back in Canada, this is my first day with us here. I haven't spotted anything yet, but I'm going to keep trying.